Hi, I'm Steve, and you're watching Gear Stuff and Things, and today we're going to talk about this Electrical Guitar Company Tyranny Series Baritone Guitar. series is Electrical Guitar Company's entry level line and this happens to be the first baritone in that series. This guitar is 27.5 inches long, it has a standard thin C neck, and it is loaded with two lovely humbuckers. One is a 16K, one is 14K. Uh, traditional four-way switch setup here. Let me see if I can get a better shot of it. What differentiates this guitar from the standard EGC lines is a few things. So the body is thinner. I don't know if that shows very well on the camera here. When ordering it, you have a lot less options as far as customization. I think they've changed that a little bit, but early on with this being the first baritone ever made in the Tyranny line, I had the options as is. Do you want to have the first baritone? And I said yes. As someone who owns both the Tyranny series and a standard EGC, I can say that I actually prefer the tone of the Tyranny a little more. The standard series obviously is going to have more options as far as pickup settings. My standard EGC baritone, which is the Aaron Turner model from 2011, has a five-way selector with two out-of-phase settings. It also has two different pickups entirely in it. Uh, one is a P90 single coil, it's overwound. One is a humbucker. There's a couple of videos of that guitar on my page here, so I'll put a link in the description to those as well as have that be in the little uh, window there. What I can say that is different between these two guitars that's very significant is that this guitar weighs almost seven pounds less than my standard series EGC. It's because there's a thinner body, it's because there is uh, less going on overall. Uh, there is a thing that comes up here, and I know that uh, when you're dealing with aluminum guitars, and I'm talking to people about them here on this page and in the baritone community, things of that nature, the price on EGCs is high. Uh, there's no getting around that and it's not something that everyone can afford if i'm being honest i can't afford them right now i got lucky and could and saved up a bunch of money from working very hard to purchase the two i have had i not done that and skipped on buying other super cool instruments i would not have them at all so there's another thing that needs to be mentioned when we're talking about electrical guitar company especially just talking about aluminum necked guitars in general a lot of the tone 90 percent of the tone in my opinion comes from the neck to add to that point, if you were to remove the body, you know, let the control panel dangle and just have the neck, which the pickups are mounted to, the guitar would sound just about the same. Obviously, there's going to be some slight tonal variance in the, the weight of the body is going to change the density, so there's going to be some sustained differences, but the overall tone would be basically the same. So the reason I mention that is because most aluminum guitar manufacturers offer just bolt-on necks. So EGC offers some baritone conversion neck sizes. They have a 27.5, a 27.78, and a 30 inch scale neck. They'll do a standard 25.5 swap out too, if that's what you're after. Or if you have a Gibson scale guitar, you can swap one of those out too. They make a little bit of something for everyone. And that's pretty fucking cool if you want to get the aluminum tone but don't want to dive the 2000 plus into owning a full fledged aluminum instrument. There's another company called Aleph that makes a base six conversion. 
They haven't quite gotten into baritone specifically yet, but they definitely have the 30 inch scale. So if you've got a bass six or one of those super cool Squire Jazz Masters and you want to switch it over to be an aluminum neck, that's an option to you. Also, you have Robot Graves Industries. I know he's making basses now. I'm sure he'll probably eventually get in to making baritone conversion necks. Even if you didn't do that, if you went with him and did the 25.5 and you were tuning just to you know B2B standard, it would work pretty well. You're not dealing with the same types of expansion and contraction associated with wood. Uh, once it's set up and your intonation is where you want it, it's going to be pretty solid almost indefinitely. So as always, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. We're going to keep this one short and sweet. Hopefully you got a feel for what the ETC Tyranny series sounds like. Hopefully you got some information associated with the other manufacturers. I'm going to put links to all that stuff in the description. Everything for Aleph, Robot Graves, Industries, EGC, all of that cool stuff. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed recently, which somehow went from two or three subscribers to 100 plus within the course of a month. That's really cool. I'm so glad you're enjoying the content. Please leave messages with any sort of ideas or anything you'd like me to address in future videos, and I will do my best to get to that. Until next time, it's me, it's you. This is Gear Stuff and Things. Subscribe is right around there. Probably going to be there. It's going to spin, do its thing. I really appreciate you stopping by. Hope you're having a great new year, and until next time, bye.